So while browsing online or while reading content on any website, there are many times when you feel that the screen is very bright and it's not soothing to your eyes to go through that content. On the other hand, websites like Facebook, YouTube and apps like Telegram, they know that how important it is to give a better user experience and that's why they have given a dark mode option on their site as well as on the app. Along with that, if you are an Elementor user, you know how convenient it is to have the dark mode on to build your WordPress website using Elementor. So in this video, I will show you how you can add the dark mode on your WordPress website using the free plus add-ons for Elementor. So here is an example of a website that is built on WordPress using Elementor. And if you take a look at the bottom right corner, we have the light as well as the dark mode option. And right now in the light mode, we have the white background and we have a little bit of purple color scheme. And if we scroll down, these are some icons. And below that, we have a little bit of content here. Now let's see how it looks in the dark mode. So here, if we turn on the dark mode, so now we have a dark black background and instead of the purple color, we are using this dark yellow color. And if we scroll down at the very bottom, we have the white color text on the black background. And I'm sure this will definitely give a soothing experience on eyes of the reader. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to add this dark mode on your WordPress website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to learn more about the amazing features of plus add-ons for Elementor, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So here we are in our WordPress backend and the only two plugins we have here is Elementor and the plus add-ons for Elementor and both are free version. Now after adding the plus add-ons for Elementor free version, if we go in the plus settings and then go to plus widget, here we will search for dark. So this is the dark mode widget which we need to use and make sure it's turned on and as you can see it's also part of the free version only. And once you turn that on, make sure you hit the save button here. And after that, if we go in pages, this is the page which we have just built using Elementor. So if we open that in the Elementor editor. So while designing your website using Elementor free or maybe the pro version, the first thing we always do is to assign global color palette. And for that, we go to this hamburger icon here. And we have the site settings. And the first option here, it says global colors. So the first option is the primary color. So this will be color mainly for the headings, but you can assign this color to any element on the page. So we have assigned this to our logo, our menu links and the title above here. And we also use the same color in the background of this container. After that, we have the secondary color where we have selected white. And after that, we have the text color, which is a light gray. So this is the color here. And the last one is Ascent, which we are using this dark yellow shade. So now once you are done with your global color palette, you can update this page and then click back to editor. And as we have seen in the demo, our complete website background changes from white to black. So for that, we need to assign our white color to the whole website. And for that, we need to go to this wrench icon at the bottom left corner. So once we click on that, here on the second tab, we have the style option. And for body style here, we will choose the color as white from our global color palette. And once we have completed our design, at the very bottom, we will add a new section and a single row. And here we will search for dark. So this is the dark mode widget, which we have turned on from the backend. So let's drop it here. And here we have two options. First is mix blend. And the second one is the global colors. So right now we will choose the global colors so that we can assign the dark theme based on our global color palette. And after that, we have style option. So we will be selecting style one. And if you choose the style two, this will change the look of this button. So I would prefer the style one only. And the next option is for position. So you can go ahead and move the position left or right, or maybe you can choose the bottom offset as well. 
After that, we have the global color option. And this is the place where we assign our colors for the dark mode. So just like our Elementor global color palette, we have the same primary, secondary, text and ascent color. So if we select the primary, so whatever color we choose here, it will replace the primary color which we have assigned from the Elementor global color palette. So for example, if we choose green, something like this, in the secondary, we will choose the black color. And for the text, we will choose the light gray. And for the ascent, let's go ahead and choose this shade here. Let's go ahead and update it again. After that, we have extra options. So here we have save in cookie option. So whatever option, normal or dark, your visitor select. So next time they visit the website, they will get the same mode on. Below that, we have an option for auto match OS theme. So it means that if your browser is set on dark mode and you have also added dark mode using this widget, then automatically the website will turn into dark mode. So here in this browser setting, I have set the colors to dark instead of light theme. So now all the look and feel of this browser window is by default in dark mode. Now if I open the website in this dark mode browser, it will automatically switch to the dark mode. So by default in any browser, when you open the website, it will always open in the light mode. But if your browser is set on the dark mode, then it will automatically detect that setting and the website will turn itself into the dark mode by default. So you can play around with that as well. Below that, we have an option for ignore dark mode by which we can ignore the dark mode for certain elements on our page. So we will cover that in the later part of this video. And if we move on the next step, that is style. So here we have the normal as well as dark mode as text. So you can play around with this text as well. So instead of normal, you can type in light or maybe for the dark mode, you can also write night. So maybe just like that. And again, we have an option to play around with the offset. And after that, we also have option for typography and color. So we will leave it as it is. And below that, we have option to choose the style for switcher, that is this button. So you can play around with the switcher size. So you can increase or decrease the size as per your design requirement. We will leave it as it is with the normal dimensions. Same goes with the dot size. You can play around with the white dot in the switcher. So you can set the size from here. So once again, we will leave it as it is. And below that, we have option for dot offset. So here as well, we can play around where we want to show this dot. So depending upon your design, you can change the value here. And below that, we have option for changing the background color for this switcher. So once we are done with all the settings, let's go ahead and update this page and let's go ahead and refresh the front end. So this is how our light mode looks like. And this is how the dark mode looks. So instead of purple, we have just changed it to green. So you can play around with colors and come up with your own unique design for your light as well as the dark mode. So this is how we can use global colors to define a dark mode scheme for our WordPress website. And now if we come back here on the dark mode, in the type, we also have second option, it says mix blend. So if we select this option, so here you get an option to choose the mix blend mode. And if you turn the night mode on here, so this is how it will look. So depending upon what blending mode you choose from here, it will update your website look. Now, when we use this mix blend type dark mode, it's very easy to turn the website into the dark mode but we lose the quality of images. And in order to fix that, in the extra options, we have this third option, ignore dark mode. So here, if we select this image and go to advance, and here we have assigned a class called hero. And similarly, for this complete section, if we go in the advance, we have assigned a class called again hero. So you can assign any class as you want. And now if we go back in the dark mode settings, 
in the extra options. Here, if we type in the class name and as soon as we enter the class name here, you can see that all the images are now looking normal. So wherever we mention this class hero, it will ignore the dark mode. So with this mix blend, it's easy to get the dark mode for the website. But in order to fix the images, we need to use this ignore dark mode option where we can just enter the classes and it will ignore the dark mode for that particular image or that particular element. Even if you are using these Lottie animation images and with the mix blend dark mode and if you see that the images are not looking good, all you have to do is just select that element and in the advanced section, we just need to mention our class name. And, and in the extra options of our dark mode, we just need to mention that class to ignore the dark mode. And if we update this page, so with that, our Lottie images colors are back and we also have the dark mode in the background of our website. Now our dark mode is working perfectly fine on this complete page but if we go on any other page of this website we do not see the dark mode. So the reason for this is because we have only added the dark mode for this page only. In order to reflect the dark mode on all the pages and all the elements of our website we need to add this dark mode widget either in the header or in the footer of our website. So you can either use Elementor Pro or you can use Nexter Builder Pro to create your own custom header or footer. And there, once you add this dark mode widget, it will start reflecting on all the pages. So depending upon your design requirement, you can choose the type mix blend or global color palette. So if we come back in the global color palette, this is how it will look. So your visitors can easily switch between the light as well as the dark mode. So this is how easy it is to add dark mode on your WordPress website using the free plus add-ons for Elementor. So if you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to learn more about the amazing features of plus add-on, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.